What's going on everyone, Austin John Plays here, and today we're going to be reviewing the best deals for Black Friday for the Nintendo Switch. This video is going to be for you if you're going to be buying a Nintendo Switch or if you want to fill up your game library or if you want a specific few games. Also, you can share this with someone who maybe is going to be buying games for you. Say, for example, you're younger and your parents don't really know exactly what games to get and you agree with what I'm telling you in this video, you can share this with them and they'll have the same information that you have. Great. First, just a quick plug. All of my merch is always very cheap. Uh, all the shirts are $24 and all the sweatshirts are $35. They're the most comfortable sweatshirts you're ever going to have. But I'm going to make a code right now. So if you watch this video, you can use this code for 10% off of any of the merch on AustinJohnPlays.com, including the brand new Starter Selects, Good Boy Yamper, Space Chicken, and if you want official logo merch as well. Super appreciate it. Helps support the channel. I'm also going to have everything that I'm talking about listed down below in the order that I'm talking about. Some of the items are only going to be available at a specific store physically, but if you can buy it online, which is about 80% of the list, then there's going to be links down below. If you are looking to buy a Nintendo Switch, there's sort of a weird situation right now that there's two models. You have the V1 and the V2. The only difference is that the V1 has not as good a battery life as the V2. The first one you can expect about three to four hours in-game battery time. And the V2, you could look between four to six hours of in-game battery time, which honestly, from someone who's played their Nintendo Switch a lot, it's negligible. Pretty much live in a society now that you're always next to a power outlet. So only if you're taking a long plane ride that doesn't have power outlets or a train ride that doesn't have power outlets, I don't know what trains do, then the V2 would be better than the V1. However, you can always just buy an external battery brick and you're fine. First of all, both Walmart and Amazon have a deal for the old Nintendo Switch bundle, which is the V1 with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. These are currently sold out, although once we get closer to actually Black Friday and Thanksgiving night, these may pop back up online with the same links that I have down below. Same goes for this bundle that actually in the last hour became out of stock. This is the V2 Switch. You can tell because it's a bright red box. It's often called the red box switch. And this also came with Spyro and it was $300. And this literally just sold out in the last hour of me making this video. So there's a chance that it's going to be back up with the same link down below. Also, if I find any other bundles, I'm going to link them down below and share them on my Twitter. Same goes for this bundle on Walmart that included Minecraft, which is only a $30 game, but it came with the V2 Switch and it was MSRP at 300. The Nintendo Switch Lite, which is the Nintendo Switch that is not capable of docking. It is only played as a handheld device and MSRP is for $200. The only deal I've found online whatsoever is it came with a free case and the cases are 10 to 15 bucks. If you're gonna be buying like several Nintendo Switches for maybe two to three kids, you may opt for the Nintendo Switch Lite as opposed to having one single family unit that's going to be in your living room and docked there and then removed for portable play. All in all, there's not great deals on the Nintendo Switch as a console. There never have been, and I doubt that there is because the unit is still selling very, very popular. Uh, real quick mention for controllers. The Pro Controller is fantastic. If you're going to be playing in docked mode almost all the time, highly, highly, highly recommend a Pro Controller. It's always $70. It very, very rarely throughout the entire year goes on sale. $62 or $63 is the second lowest price I've ever seen it be. I saw it once for a week. It went down to $60 for some reason. So it's $63. You're still getting a pretty good deal. I do not recommend buying a used Pro Controller. Let's talk about a Player 2 controller. You know what I mean. The Player 2 never has as good of a controller, right? This is the Powerday wired controller, which actually has a removable cable, which is nice. It's not as good to hold in the hands by far compared to the OEM Pro controller, 
which uses a rechargeable battery and charges with USB-C like the Nintendo Switch, which is just so convenient. This is good for a player too who isn't going to be playing all the time. If you are going to be buying Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, which if you're buying a Switch, you better be buying Smash Ultimate. This is the Powerday Wireless GameCube style controller, which is fantastic. I can't say enough good things about this. It's $34 on sale from normally 50. Only quarrel with it whatsoever is that it does run on AA batteries and if you don't put your switch to sleep or turn that controller off, the batteries will die pretty quickly as opposed to the OEM Pro controller which again, rechargeable battery and the battery lasts <laughs> so long. For that, it might be even just worth it to buy the Pro Controller over any other wireless controllers. Two more things really quick before we go into the games. One is SD cards. Right here is the 128 gig SD card. It's normally $20, it's a dollar off. You can't get much cheaper than $20 when it comes to a micro SD card. 128 gigabytes, which if you're not gonna be buying a lot of physical games, then you're gonna want a big SD card. All the games I'm gonna be talking about in this video, by the way, are physical, not digital. You should have some SD card in your Nintendo Switch, and for 20 bucks, 128 gigabytes, that's, that's beautiful. 64 gigs is $12. Memory is ridiculously cheap and Black Friday is one of those times that you normally see it. However, do not buy off-brand SD cards. If you buy cheap Chinese SD cards, they can very easily false advertise how much data is on there. Buy them from reputable companies like SanDisk. If you wanna go a little nuts, you can also buy a 512 half a terabyte and it's $80. I do not recommend the one terabyte SD cards as they are still $300. Something else to talk about really quick is the bottom of the Nintendo Switch and the Nintendo Switch Lite has a USB-C. If you're gonna be plugging in anything that goes into a USB, you're gonna be plugging it into the dock. The Nintendo Switch Lite does not have a dock. You actually need to have this adapter right here, which is a $6 adapter and it comes with two of them. This can also be used for the regular Nintendo Switch in handheld mode. That way you could just plug it in, plug in a wired controller, and you could play in handheld mode anything plugged into that. You also have this, which is just a cheap USB-C hub that I found online for $22. You cannot use the HDMI out on this. You cannot use this for a dock replacement. However, you plug it in, you have two USB ports, you're good to go. Chargers on the go. Right here is something that says it's a switch charger. It's $12, 15 volt, 2.6 amps. That means that this is going to be just enough power to power the Nintendo Switch while you're playing the most intense game possible. So your battery will not go down. It will actually charge while you're playing the most intense game possible. However, if you also own a computer that uses a USB-C charger, this is essentially a knockoff MacBook charger, which is 87 to 90 watts USB-C power. This will definitely charge your Nintendo Switch really fantastically, probably a good buy. It's also worth mentioning you should not use off-brand docks. If you're going to be using any sort of way to charge your Nintendo Switch, make sure it is not projecting an HDMI signal outward. There's this carrying case. I own this carrying case. It holds everything and a pro controller and a whole bunch of games. It's normally $33. It's net down to $21. Cannot recommend this enough. This is a fantastic case. Buy this case if you plan to take your Nintendo Switch and your dock to a friend's house or to another location. Really important thing here. One, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. If you're buying a Nintendo Switch for a kid who's over the age of 10, buy Smash Ultimate. You have to. Also, any online features for the Nintendo Switch. If we're talking about Pokemon and trading Pokemon, if we're talking about doing competitive online play in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, everything requires the Nintendo Switch online program, which is only $20 for the entire year. That's less than you spent at Starbucks the last time you went. $20 for the entire year and you get access to all, I think it's like 30 NES games and 20 Super NES games that you could play as many times as you want. They're on your system. Fantastic deal. All right, let's get on with the games. I'm going to be covering a lot of games that I have personally played and a lot of games that I am going to be buying myself this Black Friday. I'm going to be talking about the, uh, the Nintendo published games and you know, the Nintendo IP games before everything else. 
First of all, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is going to be available at Target as a doorbuster for half off. It's $30 only as a doorbuster. After the doorbuster, which apparently is 5 p.m. on Thursday, I have no idea how expensive it's going to be. But if you miss that, you can go to Best Buy, which has it for $40 as of Black Friday. Sales not live yet. And Walmart has it in store for $40 as well. Mario Odyssey is also a Target doorbuster for $30. It's also available on Best Buy's website later at $20 off, so it's $40, 33% off. And it's also going to be available at Walmart in store at $20 off. So you can pick up Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey both at $20 to $30 off, which is a great savings. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is available on Amazon for $10 off right now and in the future at $10 off. Even though this is still $50 and $10 off, that's still even cheaper than what you would buy it pre-owned at GameStop for, which is only $5 savings. Nintendo games hold up their value really, really high. Here's Breath of the Wild at $40, Mario Odyssey at $40, Super Mario Party at $40, which if you're going to be playing and you have you know more than one kid in the household, it's a fantastic game that is going to be good for younger people and older people. It's a lot of mini games and you use a single Joy-Con to play it. So even without purchasing another controller, two people can play with one Joy-Con each. Great game for the money. There's also Splatoon 2, which is kind of like a paintball shooting game. If that's your cup of tea, go for it. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle is normally $60. As of Black Friday, it's going to be on sale for $15 at Best Buy and Walmart is going to have it for $20. Even though it's an E10 rating, it's a little bit more developed of a game because it's an XCOM style tactical RPG shooter game, which sounds very weird. But if you enjoy strategy games and you like Nintendo games, hopefully because you're watching this video, I definitely recommend checking out this game. And at $15, ah, fantastic. This game is one of my favorite games that I played all year last year. Link's Awakening that came out this year is $11 off. It's normally 60, it's down to 49. This is a remake of the original Game Boy game that got remade to the Game Boy Color as Link's Awakening DX. It's now available for $50. It's a completely remade game. It's polished, it's beautiful. An entire playthrough is gonna take you anywhere from eight to 20 hours. So it's a little expensive for the money, but if you played the original, you are going to love every second of this. This is also available on Amazon for the same exact price of $49. That's an 18% savings. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee are going to be discounted for Black Friday down to $48. It actually gets a little bit cheaper than this right now. $48 to $50, they're gonna be on sale, which is last year's game. It's a remake of Kanto and Pokemon Red Blue, uh, primarily yellow. And it's a fun way to play through. It integrates with Pokemon Go, the mobile game from the phone, so you could transfer your Pokemon over. However, it is not the new game. The new Pokemon game is called Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Those are $60, they are full price. You will not find them anywhere on sale. But if you have a kid who wants the new Pokemon game, it's that one. To all my people in the know, the Pokeball Plus, which is used to redeem Mew in either Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee or Sword and Shield, is current is normally $50, on sale for $44, but on Black Friday, it's gonna be $20. Bucks. It's essentially a paywall in order to get a mythical Pokemon, and you may have already bought and owned one, and you have it in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, but you can't bring it over until Pokemon Home updates. So for now, if you want to pick it up on Black Friday, it's going to be $20. That's your best bet. This also is Pokemon Go functionality. I believe you can use this to spin Pokestops and collect items while not looking at your phone. The new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for the Nintendo Switch is a compilation of a game and a very large DLC that they released on the Wii U. It's essentially a 2D style Mario side-scrolling game and it's $15 off. Normally it's 60 bucks, 25% off, it's 45. It's a good everyone sit on the couch, up to four people can play. You could hold the Joy-Con sideways and play that way or any combination of four controllers. This is a good family game. It's a good game to have just in your collection and it's a good game for like people who don't know anything about Nintendo games. They could just hop into this and have a fun time. Same goes for Mario Party, which I talked about before. It's going to be available 
It's available at Best Buy for $40 once the sale goes live on Black Friday. And it's also going to be available in store at Walmart. You can see right here, it's going to be available for $30. If you walk in there and you can pick up Breath of the Wild and Mario Odyssey at 30 bucks each, that's a steal. They have never ever been that cheap. That brings us to the end of all of the Nintendo published games that I'm going to personally recommend. Now we're getting into games that are not published by Nintendo and games that I personally have not played, although I'm going to be picking up and purchasing myself. Uh, let's start right here. If you played Final Fantasy X, but have not played the remastered version, then you could pick the game up for $25. Same goes for Final Fantasy XII. The remastered is called the Zodiac Edition, which has uh, elements of the Japanese international release of the game. So you can pick those up for $25 each. These are physical copies. On the eShop, there's also Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy IX. They're very cheap. In addition to Walmart in-store, both of these games are available at Best Buy in-store on Black Friday at the same price, half off. They were 50, now they're 25. In the bargain bin, you have Crash Insane Trilogy for $20. You could also buy it online at Best Buy. It's also gonna be available at Best Buy. Currently 40 is gonna go down on sale to $20. That's a remake of Crash 1, 2, and 3 from the PlayStation. Team Sonic Racing for $20 is a great steal. It's not as good of a game as Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and it has a co-op mode, which is a little weird, but like, say for example, you have two brothers who are gonna be playing this Nintendo Switch, great game to pick up. This is the only place that has that game on sale. Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, can't say enough good things about it, already talked about it. And Super Bargains, there's a whole bunch of Lego games that are $15 each. I've played one Lego game and it's fantastic. It's not a good adult game, it's a good younger child game. Great writing though. Like, really fantastic writing. Also, Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered is going to be available. I figured I mentioned that. That's actually the first game I owned when I bought a Wii U. And also, while we're on this page, the 1UP Arcade cabinets are currently anywhere from $50 off to 50% off. And I just bought five of them because they're all on sale. So I'm essentially going to transform my dining room into an arcade. I'm going to have a vlog about that. Uh, Civilization 6 is a Steam game. It's a strategy game. It is only for adults. It's rated E10. This is a game you have to be smart to actually play it. Trust me. It's on sale for $20 right now. It's also the same price on Amazon. It's a fantastic game. I played it on Steam. I probably have 200 or more hours in the game. I do not own it on the Nintendo Switch, although I'm going to be buying it for the Nintendo Switch. And a uh, fun fact to my fellow PC gamers, my first entry into Civ was Civilization Revolution, which was for the PS3. And that's what got me into the franchise. And then I started playing it on Steam. So there you go. Mortal Kombat 11 for the Nintendo Switch is currently $35 off. It's normally 60, it's down to 25. This game is available on every platform. It runs better on PS4 and Xbox One, it's the same price, than it runs on the Nintendo Switch. So if you own either of those two systems and you want to pick this game up, I recommend picking it up on something other than the Nintendo Switch. But if you want it on the Switch, you can. Octopath Traveler is a fantastic game. This is like a two and a half D RPG game. It's really, really fantastic. There's a three hour demo that you can download on the eShop right now. It's a $60 game. It's going to be available at $20 off, so $40. If you enjoy the demo, pick up the game at $20 off. This is the best, the best multiplayer game that you can just hop into and play. It really is. It's $40. It's on Black Friday. It's going to be half off. It's going to be $20. Oh my God. I cannot say enough good things about this. You do not need to play the first one to play the second one. You can pick up the first one on the eShop. It's dirt cheap. I think it's like 10 bucks or $7. It's ridiculously cheap. Oh, uh, you're going to have so much fun. It's going to be one of those games that you're yelling at each other just to like work together. It's a co-op game. Cannot say enough good things about it. Essentially, your job is to make food for people. <laughs> that's it. That, that's all you do. You make food for people. But like, 
Uh, look up gameplay of it. It's a fantastic game to play. Rocket League, which is a very, very, very fun game. I have never, ever played it on any platform. I want to pick it up. It's $40 on Black Friday. It's going to be down to $20 on Best Buy's website and pro probably in store as well. Terraria is a game that a lot of people have told me that I should play because it's sort of like Minecraft, but with dungeons and stuff. Maybe that's the game they're talking about. It looks like it. I'm pretty sure this is that game. Anyways, it's currently $10 off, so instead of $30, it's $20. The Witcher 3 is a game that I own on Steam, PlayStation 4, and I'm gonna be buying it on the Switch, but I've never actually played it. It's one of those games that, like, I keep buying it on just whatever system I'm currently playing, hoping that I'm finally gonna get around to it, but I haven't. MSRP is $60. It's gonna be down to $45, so it's gonna be 25% off for the Nintendo Switch. And this is the complete edition, just like the PS4 edition, and it has all the DLC. And the very, very last game, because I went in alphabetical order, is Ukulele and the Impossible Lair. MSRP is 40, it's gonna be knocked down to 20, so half off. I played Ukulele on the PS4, I couldn't wait for it to come out on the Switch, and I enjoyed it. It took me about 35 hours to 100% the game, and this is supposedly a 2D side-scrolling platforming version of that game. That just alone interests me, plus I wanna support the people who, at Playtonic because they're the people who left Rare when, you know, they made Banjo and Banjo got pushed to the side, so they left. But I'm gonna pick this game up because I wanna play this game and I definitely wanna support this studio. All right, well guys, I'm wrapping that up. Again, links to everything is gonna be in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, share it with someone who's gonna be picking up games on Black Friday. Until next time, Austin John out.